How did this come about and, and, and what's the plan uh, for Glaxo? Well, Hal and I have known each other for a long time because we worked uh, for over 12 years together at, at uh, Genentech and we stayed in touch uh, after both of us moved on and uh, it was a, a natural get-together uh, of a uh, meeting of the minds when Hal joined GSK and brought forth the idea of, of using human genetics uh, to help with the probability, increase the probability of success for drug development. Yeah, we're really excited about this collaboration. I think that uh, we're on, um, um, previewing today our, our new R&D strategy, and at the center of it is how to increase the probability that the potential medicines that we are trying to develop actually make it to our patients. And this collaboration with 23andMe and other collaborations we have using human genetics to, to find the best targets suggests when you get a genetically validated target and you pursue it, it's twice as likely to end up being a medicine. And we think this could be very, very helpful for patients. And we're also excited about the opportunity to leverage the patients, to have them be involved in this drug development process. We're particularly excited about that component of the collaboration with 23andMe. 23andMe oh, has over 5 million customers and over 80% consent to have their information used for research. Guys, it's Meg Terrell. I was really interested to see this collaboration. You think about drug companies collaborating with uh, companies focused on genetics, Amgen buying Decode a few years ago, uh, Regeneron collaborating with Geisinger Health. 23andMe is a little different. You do genotyping, which is a slightly more limited way of looking at the genetic data. But then you do have that customer um, participation with, with surveys and things like that. I wonder, um, why 23andMe, Dr. Barron? Um, why that model? And is there any limitation based on the kinds of genetic information that 23andMe generates? Well, thanks, Meg. That's a great question. The, the key thing, I think, that makes the 23andMe collaboration very special is two things. First of all, the size. Um, the over 5 million customers that 23andMe has, has uh, gained access to is really very, very much larger than anything, about 10 times larger than, than some of the other databases that are out there. But possibly even more important is that the customers in 23andMe, as, as Richard was alluding to, I think it's over 80% of them have actually signed up with the intent of being able to help with research, to actually contribute to our efforts to find new medicines for patients. And this ability to recontact them because they're so excited about the opportunity to participate makes 23andMe a very unique and exciting part of so I think people miss the, the idea. I think people miss the idea that with over 5 million customers, it would be impossible to completely genome sequence everybody. That would cost billions of dollars and would be more information than anyone could even store in any database. So in, in fact, we do genotype people, but then when we find people with interesting genotypes, we then do their DNA sequence. So we think this is a more efficient way to capture important genomic information. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.